Hiya guys. Oh, Alexa, pause. I'm making a quick jam slice. Me and my mum absolutely love jam slice. We've not had one for a bit, so I've greased and lined what I call a brownie tin, a square shallow tin. It's about eight by eight. And I'm doing it in my food processor because it's quick and easy. So you want 225 grams of butter, baking spread, stork, perfect for cakes, what I use from Aldi in there and you want your sugar which is 150 grams of sugar you can use granulated I'm using caster sugar but you can use granulated for this you can use granulated for any reason so if you don't have caster sugar, just use granulated sugar. 150. Pop that in there with that. Bob in a little bit of um, vanilla extract. That's only a quarter of a teaspoon, so I'll put four of those in. So that makes a teaspoon. Vanilla extract and just mush that together and you're, uh, let that all combine. <laughs> now you're going to add your flour and you want 330 grams of plain flour. You can use self-raising if you want. So there's no set and hard rules. 330. It's not going to ding, does it? And add to that a teaspoon of baking powder. Now you're going to pop it in your uh, food processor a bit at a time. Leave it off and just combine that. salt if you want. I'm not adding any salt to mine but you can at this stage. I find perfect for cakes is salty enough but if you're using plain butter I would pop half a teaspoon of salt in. Just mix that together till it makes a nice dough. Your jam slice, and all you need now is your jam. It's so quick and easy, guys, and it's just delicious. Take that out now. You're gonna. half out well three quarters really 
when it's a lovely doll this now you're gonna just knead it into the bottom of your tin Shortbread recipe. Just press it in so you get it in all your corners and your sides. Right. Now you're going to spread some jam in it. We just got a new microwave. That we're Alan saying it doesn't ding. It does ding. Does he ding? I ordered it from Asta. I've had no microwave for nearly a week. So I've had to melt my chocolate the old fashioned way over a pan of boiling water. <laughs> Won't be doing that again. Right, spread your jam on your dough that you've laid on the bottom as your base. You can put as little or as much jam as you want in. Oh guys, I had a lovely day yesterday meeting Jenkin. It was lovely. I felt like I'd known him all my life. And his mum, his lovely mum, Susan. We had a fantastic afternoon, me and Emma, my daughter. Kirsty was invited, my other daughter as well. But she's been to Copenhagen and she was travelling back yesterday afternoon. She didn't get home till after five last night. So just me and Emma went, oh, bless them. Susan said, you should have brought your mum. I should have brought my mum. Do you know, and she would have enjoyed it. But I didn't want to bring my mum and, you know, it weren't my place. It weren't my place to bring somebody else, were it? But lovely Jenkin was everything I expected him to be. Funny, just a sweetheart. Emma loved him. We both did. And his family. Oh, his nan. What a lovely lady. And his sister. I think her name's Seren. I don't think I got it. Seren, if that's not your name, will you put me right, please? But I think your name's Seren. Um, what a beautiful girl. She's lovely. And of course, Jenkin. Absolutely. Love, love him. Like I said, I felt like I'd known them forever. They made me so welcome. And they were with all the Preston family. Because they're from Wales, but uh, Susan's nan was brought up in Preston lived in Preston and married obviously married a Welsh guy and uh, they're all Welsh and I don't I don't know if I've got this right but Jenkins Nan hadn't been back to Preston for 60 years and they'd even got her best friend from school there which was amazing right so that's my jam spread out now then I'm gonna put this on top, but I'm gonna crumble it. Put it in little bits. And, uh, oh, it were lovely. We had a lovely afternoon. We went to our friends first, Denise, who's Jenkins' cousin. And her husband had the barbecue on and what have you. So we went there, made her a school cake, and uh, then we, we we stayed at the barbecue for a bit, and then we all went to the club where they were having this family get-together, and we waited there for a while for Susan and Jenkins to come, and, and his sister, and his nan, and... Uh, 